This is Kent Brockman on location among the good people of Springfield. Because today we celebrate beautiful Skyline Park, a reclamation project built atop the ruins of the Springfield monorail. No, we're repurposing the old monorail track into a completely new and original feature we ripped off from New York, the Springfield Sky Park Line. Don't worry, we'll use the bypass board. Okay, Fatsos, suck it in. Oh. <laughs> hey, no. And now, to culminate today's events, let's turn on the electricity that illuminates the tiny no-smoking signs. On the positive side, with this disaster, we have surpassed Detroit and Kabul as the world's most unlucky city. Uh, uh, uh. Couldn't you have at least put little wedges under the wheels? Uh, uh, sorry, sweetheart, but running a city is a little more complicated than getting your nails done. Mr. Mayor, that is so sexist. Uh-oh, sounds like someone's girdle is pinching. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you wouldn't mind serving the coffee and cake, we men can get down to business. <laughs> This is the last time I'm doing this, so I better do it perfectly. <laughs> I can't believe Mayor Quimby talking down to me like that. People think we've moved on, but this world is as sexist as ever. Thanks, Obama. What's so great about Quimby anyway? I could cut a ribbon. You'd be a great mayor, Mom. You're organized, you manage the budget, and thanks to Dad, you're an expert on the court system. Mom, this is our time. Wonder Woman showed that if you're a goddess with superpowers, there's no limit to what you can do. You could be mayor. Whoa, 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 whoa. A woman prime minister, okay. But a woman mayor? If mom becomes mayor, we can get away with anything. Marge, this town is ready for a change. Quimby has been mayor, like, forever. All right, now, listen. The key to victory is micro-targeting. Micro-targeting. Think of the voters as a pie. Uh, we use data analysis to divide the pie into tiny little slivers and tailor a message to each micro-group. <laughs> what? So just tell them what they want to hear until you get 51%. Then you can govern like a far-right nut job. Hi, Mom. Simpson, and won't you vote for me? Whatever your obsession is, is my priority. From widows to your lunch pail jokes to vets of foreign wars, there's no single issue voter my campaign will ignore. From soccer moms to mafia dolls, I'll give you what you need. I'm Mar Simpson, and won't you vote for me? Yeah. Mrs. Simpson, you've targeted small constituencies. Do you have any proposals that would appeal to every Springfielder? Well, Kent, I am a mom. And as a mom, I want to help this town eat its vegetables. <laughs> vegetables, Marge. As moderator, it's my duty to fact check that many of them are yucky. It's a metaphor. You know, my entire life, that stupid tire fire has been burning, and it's ruined our town. I promise, if you elect me, I'll put that fire out. Oh. <laughs> and with the last senior citizen gently reminded that they cannot vote at IHOP, the results are now final. History is made. Marge Simpson is our new mayor. And so our new mayor is doing what was unthinkable in the Quimby regime. Something. Roll the dozers! Well, I'm sorry, but I, I, I can't let you put me out of business. Well. You ruined the air for the whole town just to sell knickknacks? Knickknacks? They, they, they may be to you, but uh, they put my son through med school. Aww. And so Marge Simpson is already a failure. The fastest fall from grace since Mamie Eisenhower destroyed a piano store on inauguration day. Hey, Mom, want to get some lunch? Mm, I'd love a lunch break, but I've got to get that tire fire out first. 
already neglecting your family, Madam Mayor. Why, you little? Don't embarrass your mother! <laughs> 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 guys, guys, stop. I'm the mayor. Everything you do reflects on me. Of course, honey. I want you to promise me, can you both behave like Lisa just for a little bit? I'm Lisa. I'm Lisa. I like music. We're here to buy your stand. Yeah, well, it's not for sale. Oh, all I want to do is help the city, and I can't because of this ding-dong. <gasps> Clyde's a Vietnam vet, a survivor of the Battle of Ding Dong. Thank you. Thank you was his best friend. Stepped on a landmine in the Battle of One Pun Too Many. This is not good, Marge. There's only one way out. You're going to have to do a live, completely unscripted heart-to-heart -heart with the voters. Here's your script. I don't want a script. Good evening. I'm here to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. This is a disaster. Marge, what time is dinner ready? I'm in the middle of a speech. Wait a minute. Something's turning them around. Marge, can you cook a hot pocket in the dryer? Oh, Elmer Simpson. The only time you shut your mouth is to keep food inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. She's turned a gaff-making tubby into a laugh-yielding hubby. Marge, do you have any bread? Check your chest. <laughs> Your numbers are simply fantastic. And all you had to do was throw your husband under the bus. Mr. Simpson, we're naming a sandwich after you. <gasps> My lifelong dream has come true. Sir, we've already made it. The open mouth turkey goofball. That is so not me. But I'll take six. We're honored to have with us the mayor <laughs> and first doofus, Homer Simpson. <laughs> And we're here for a very, very serious charity. Save the whales. All right, that's it. <clears throat> no, that's really why we're here. <laughs> what a day for this town. We've made a deal with the librarian's union. Homer would have been here, but he backed out when he heard the library didn't have any pop-up books. <laughs> Great news, Marge. You've tapped into something women and men can agree on. Husbands are idiots. I need to talk to somebody. <laughs> Mayor Quimby? No, just ordinary Diamond Joe. Joe, is it possible to have a decent family life and be a good political leader? Marge, I don't want to talk about that anymore, but I'll tell you this. Retirement agrees with me. The first night out of office, I noticed a gorgeous woman lying next to me, and I said, holy crap, I'm married to her. Marge, there's no mayor in marriage. There almost is. It's really close, but I'm afraid not. <clears throat> Oh, Marge, I want to thank you for giving me back my Joseph. We have to get back. We're christening a new manhole cover on 4th Street. Thank you. I couldn't be here without my husband. He's a big supporter. So big. <laughs> so big. I wish all of you could know the love in his heart. <gasps> Everyone, look inside yourself and find your Homer Simpson. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>